hello I have titled this video fire up your love fire up your love in case you don't know me I'm Dr. Omoshebi Miriam Olola and I'd like to talk to couples today fire up your love in a previous video I talked about the three stages of marriage and I highlighted the fact that the first stage stage of marriage is the honeymoon phase and at that phase you are in love you know the emotions are high you don't even need any extra effort to feel in love with that person however the fact is this stage does not go on forever it's going to come to an end once uh, at a point in time it's going to come to an end before you even know what is happening while you're still enjoying it you just find out that you are gradually moving out of that phase and when that time comes you begin to see the negativities in the in the life of your partner you begin to see all the ugly stuff all the things you don't really like and then people say they are falling out of love but the truth of the matter is like i said in that previous video too there is that stage where you believe that the best is yet to come and that is the stage where you are ready to work at your marriage you're ready to love that person you're ready to just make it work irrespective of what you feel so you move away from that place of just dealing with that person based on your emotions to making a very sensitive decision a specific decision being intentional about your marriage many marriages wouldn't crumble if they realize this if they are uh, aware of the fact that they can actually do something about their loss of love that feeling of love that they have that feeling of oh I don't love him anymore I don't love her anymore I don't feel excited about being with this person anymore but the truth of the matter is there's something you can do and that one thing is to make just one decision one decision only and what is that decision about decide to love that person even though you don't feel like loving that person, you decide to love the person. You choose to love that person. You become intentional about it. You decide that, okay, even though this person doesn't make me feel those butterflies anymore, I don't feel those butterflies I used to feel in my stomach when I, you know, when I newly met this person. But I choose to love this person. I choose to love this person. I choose to live my life with this person and not just endure um, you know this relationship because that is what a lot of people will do they are no more in love they are not walking in love but they are still together they might be together for years 20 years 25 years but the love ha has been long lost but the truth of the matter is you can stay that long and still be in love with that person and still love that person that, that much and still have that emotional love in place and how do you make this happen? How do you make this happen? When you want to be intentional about it. Now the thing you need to do is to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your partner. When you stop feeling, you know, that feeling of, hey, I'm in love. You need to sit down and know that, okay, this is a time for a very important conversation. Because it is a time where you both are expected to grow into maturity you know love is in stages too there's that time where you don't have to do anything to just feel in love but right now probably you are now at that stage where maturity is expected of you to let us know that okay you, even though you don't feel like you feel like it even though you don't feel like loving that person you still decide to love that person and that is the crux of this video choosing to love that person so in doing that the first thing is to sit down together and have a heart to heart conversation talk about you know those days how it used to be how how in love you felt how you loved the feeling okay what things he did or she did that made you feel like oh i'm loved by this person what are those things so you need to sit down talk about your hurts talk about the things that make you feel good talk about the things that have changed over the years or over the months talk about the things that you find you know absurd about your relationship now compared with how it was in the past 
So have to have a heart to heart conversation. Probably you used to buy her flowers before and you no longer do it. She should be able to tell you, oh, you used to do this. Or initially when we got married, you used to help me in the kitchen, but you don't help me anymore. Or before you used to write me letters, you used to send me text messages, you used to, you know, chat with me. Even though we are together, you talk to me, you look at me, you don't look at me anymore. You're always looking at your phone, you know, things like that. Talk about it. Talk about how you feel now compared with how you felt when you were in love you can bring those days back and that's why i said fire up your love you can fire it up or refire it as the case may be okay so have a heart to heart conversation be sincere be as sincere as possible be very sincere with your with your emotions be open talk about it express your emotions you know many people want don't want to talk about their emotions they don't want to, to be so explicit but if you're going to, if you're going to make this work if you're going to really um, succeed at this stage at this point where you decide okay we can have the best of our relationship then you have to be sincere and open be honest have that honest conversation and then when you have that honest conversation communicating with each other telling each other what you like what you don't like you know how you like how he's treating you now you don't like what he's doing to you now or what she's doing to you now now the next thing is to take action after you've communicated you need to do something about it you know there's this problem of you saying oh i've been talking to him about the same thing but he does nothing about it he keeps doing the same thing i tell him i don't like why because when we communicate we don't act on the information that we gather so that's why I said it has to be a heart to heart conversation. But beyond that, you have to be ready to work on it, on the information you get. Work on, you know, what that person has told you. He has told you, I don't like you doing this, or I wish you could just do this for me. Then you act on it and take dressing. Communicate and take dressing. Don't just communicate and leave it there. You know, it's like someone is telling you something. It goes in through your right ears and it comes out through the left. When you don't do anything about what he, has, he or she has complained about. So take dressing. Take, you know, you have to be intentional about it. Okay. Okay. You miss me writing you letters or something. All right. How about you do something about it? And then probably say, okay, every Tuesday or or twice a week I'm going to write her a letter even if it's just a text message telling her how much you love her how much you cherish her you know it's going to go a long way compared with when you just say oh you're just being a baby or you should grow up or something like that no and the truth of the matter is each one of us every human being has a way we want to feel loved and that is one thing I really want you to understand at this point. This is not going to be a very long video. I want you to realize that every person is different from the other. We're all different. We're all different. So, and everyone has a way he wants to be loved or that everyone has, you know, something that is natural with him or her, how he feels loved, something that you do to that person that will make him loved, irrespective of who it is coming from. And that is why you see people, you know, moving out of their relationships into other relationships when their needs are not being met anymore in this place. They find, probably find somebody somewhere else who is speaking their love language, who is loving them the way they want to be loved. The mistake many of us make is that we want to love others the way we think they should be loved. And that is the wrong, that's a very wrong approach. The right approach is to love that person the way he wants to be loved or the way she wants to be loved. Now, I believe that the book by this book by Gary Chapman is going to really, uh, you know, help you. It's, it's a blessing. I tell you, that book is a powerful book. The five love languages. There are five love languages, acts of service. There are some people that all they want from you is to just help them, help them carry the baby, help her, you know, wash the dishes or help him wash his car or help him high on his clothes. You know, that is what communicates love to help to them, acts of service. Some others is the word, word of affirmation. They want, to, they want you to tell them how loved, you know, or how much you love them or how excited you are about being with them they want to hear the words or read the words from you okay words of affirmation how you 
feel that he's your hero how you feel that she's a super mom how you feel that she's you know amazing that's what they want from you there are some others that what they want from you is physical touch they love to be hugged you know they want you to be home mushy around them they want you to just touch them give them a pat or stroke their hair or just give them a hug you know there are people like that there are others that what they want from you is for you to give them gifts they love to receive gifts that is what tells them that you love them even if it's just you know you coming from somewhere you just buy a biscuit that is not even more than let's say 100 naira or something it doesn't have to be something big it's the spirit behind it that really moves them those that love to receive gifts but that you were thinking about them where you were not with them speaks a lot you know tells them so much that you love them and then finally there are others that want you to just spend time with them they just want you to be with them spend time with them you know talk to them look them in the face and you know leave everything be, uh, behind and or beside you and you know away from that time that quality time they just want to spend that quality time with you they want to know that oh you cherish them and you love them enough to spend time with them you know that's just a brief overview of the five love languages but you need to really sit down and you know discuss with your partner how does he want you to love him how does she want you to love her it's very important that you discover you know the love language as a matter of fact your uh, your partner might not even know but that's why I, uh, I said i would recommend you to read that book it would be a good thing for both of you to go through the book so that you can you know by the time you study each other you'll be able to know oh this is my primary love language and then you concentrate your effort on that by doing that you will feel keep feeling your love tank you feel the love tank of your, of your spouse you know when something is full there's no space for something else when you when when the love tank of your spouse is full at home it doesn't need anything from outside it doesn't she doesn't need somebody else out there even if they tell her she's beautiful she hears it all the time from you so it doesn't make any difference okay so it's very important for you to do that communicate understand how your partner wants to be loved and love them that way decide to speak their love language now before i close this i want you to know that it indeed takes two to tango so it takes both of you being ready to make this work both of you being ready to speak each other's uh, love language both of you being ready to love each other the way the other person wants to be loved both of you being ready to use the information the other person gives to him you know both of you being ready to take redress both of you being ready to make your relationship work okay so what happens in case it's just one person that wants to make it work it's one person that keeps complaining hey i want to, i want to feel that love i want to feel in love with you again i want to feel the way i felt initially i want you know i want to feel you know those butterflies again okay so what if it's just one person and the other person doesn't care yes the truth is there are relationships like that the other person just doesn't care he already gave up or she already gave up on the relationship what do you do start the fire is what i'll say start the fire however let me warn you it's not going to be easy it's not going to be a, a one-off thing start the fire but you have to be ready to patiently wait for that fire to really you know to really blow them for that for that for the other person to catch the fire let me put it that way you know it's like back in the day when they used firewood of course people still use firewood but when you want to start uh, a fire at the fireplace you can just put maybe fuel on just one one uh, piece of wood and then put strike your match and then start the fire with just one uh, piece of wood then you tuck it in into the rest and then before you know what happens others start you know picking it up or in fact using the charcoal is a better example by the time you start the fire and one um, piece of charcoal catches the fire it begins to get hot by the time you start fanning it by the time you start fanning it, you find out that all the uh, pieces of charcoal will start you know grabbing the fire they start 
getting ignited one after the other. Now that is what it happened. What was going to happen here? Be ready to start the fire. And how do you start the fire? Be ready to love your spouse, that unwilling person, that person that doesn't want, he doesn't want to love you anymore. She doesn't want, she doesn't care about loving you anymore. Just say, let's just live under this uh, roof here, just like roommates. He doesn't care about how you feel. If you're ready to take this route, then you will be ready to patiently wait and start the fire. And start loving him, start loving her the way you know that she would love to be loved. You know, we can discover each other's um, love language by studying the other person. So on the study him or her. And then once you discover, oh, this is how this person really loves uh, to be loved. Maybe most times if you flash back to when you first fell in love, you'll be able to, it can help you to discover what exactly the love language is. So once you discover it, start, you know, giving it to that person. Start loving that person that way. If it's a word of affirmation, start, you know, keep saying it. Stop complaining. Stop uh, putting him or her down. You know, start saying the positive things to him or her. And then before you know what happens, with patience, it might take a while, but with patience, you will find out that that person is going to catch it, is going to grab it. He should grab it. She should grab it. Okay? And of course, like I always say, prayer. You add that to prayer and you find out that with time, the, the, the flame will start all over again. So you can fire up your love once you're intentional about it. Once you decide that you want to make this happen, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You know, Jesus admonished um, the disciples say we should love those who hate us pray for your enemies love your enemies pray for those who hate you those who despise you okay he says we should love others the way we want them to love us do unto others what you want them to do to you so start loving that person the way you want to be loved okay i hope this helped you i pray that god is going to visit every marriage it's an amazing thing to find that even as your marriage grows it gets better your love gets stronger and that's what i desire for you for you and i pray it happens for you it sure can happen for you but it's not just about prayers you have to take action you have to do all these things that i've talked about and i believe that they're going to really help your relationship all right so that's it from me in this video in case you don't know me i'm dr omoshibi miriam Olala, and i pray that god blesses your marriage I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up Cause I'm the one that you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love